This is the secret history of corn pone flakes. Corn pone flakes formed in November of 1988, well before YouTube, the World Wide Web, and very probably you. We discovered how to hook together two VCRs, that's like a primitive Blu-ray player, but substitute a different input for the audio jack, allowing us to record a picture from one thing and our ridiculous voices on another, so we could put together what was called a parody dub. We created a feature-length parody dub as our first project, which was released six months later. A parody of the show Star Blazers called Star Dipwads, which was, I will just say, unreasonably and undeservedly popular amongst the anime community at the time. Partly because of the popularity of the original show, but mostly probably because of novelty. Parody dubs were hard as hell to do at the time, and there weren't very many of them. Now what do I mean when I say this was released? There was no internet, right? True, but there was something called the Tape Trading Network, where people would send a blank tape, you know, that's like a primitive flash drive, and a self-addressed stamp package to get the tape back. We would leave catalogs around at science fiction conventions, people would pick them up, and they would send me blank tapes and I would send stuff back to them. Yes, people actually put up with this sort of analog file sharing thing. It was all we had and people actually used to be able to put forth effort. Around the same time, we also discovered how to cut together previously unrelated footage to create scenes of people fighting each other that had never shared the screen before. The longest such foray into this technique ran a total of two and a half hours, and yes, that is completely unreasonable. In 1990, we began work on a serious live-action science fiction movie titled, hilariously, Men in Black. Yeah, it was 1990, who the hell knew? Men in Black was never properly finished because it was just too damn hard, so we moved on to an easier project, which was easier only in the sense that it had a smaller cast, an adaptation of a friend's self-published comic, The Ozone Commandos. This dragged on forever and ever, and I'll come back to it. In 1993 to 1995, we produced the Bad American Dubbing Trilogy, three half-hour long features that were compilations of badly dubbed scenes from anime properties with accompanying snarky commentary. It was the least amount of work but ever put into a project, so naturally it was the thing for which we became best known. From 1995 on through the early part of the 21st century, Century, we moved away from the anime thing and started producing short films and fake film trailers for movies we never intended to do in their entirety. This served us well for a while, but during the aughts, the group sort of splintered as people's lives took them in different directions, sometimes straight out of the country. I continued to work away on Ozone Commandos and finally finished part one in 2009 after struggling through a series of production problems that I wouldn't wish on my own worst enemy. Throughout the 2010s, I began work on a series of video essays, though these stalled for a while due to three and a half years spent on a project that ultimately went nowhere. I've recently gone back to it because one, I can talk about films until I'm blue in the face, and two, it doesn't really require the participation of anyone else. Now, what this is not. This is not a Star Wars channel. It's not a David Lynch channel or an anime channel. It's not a horror channel, though I have talked about all of these things and very well may do so again. It's a pretty much whatever I feel like talking about at the given moment channel. You might like one video and have no interest in the one after it. That's just the way things go. Now, on the positive side, I will never ask you to give money to this channel because I already have a camera, I already have a computer, and uploading to YouTube is free. I can truly say I don't give a fuck about your money. Besides, when people are paying for something, they start to get the idea in their heads that they can dictate content or how often I put stuff out. And guess what? You can't. Also, if you have an idea for something you want to see, do it yourself. It'll probably come out better that way because you're the one interested in it. Videos will come out kind of slowly. These take a while to write and edit. And I can't guarantee that you'll be that interested in whatever comes up next. But if it sounds like something that you're down for, hop on board. And if you want to see stuff we've done that isn't hosted here, the links are in the description. So, have a nice day. And if none of that sounds interesting, here's a kitten eating breakfast. This is also not a cat channel, though you'll probably see lots of those as well.